first question one's going to ask is, what happened on Saturday with the assassination attempt of Donald Trump? We can clear it up right away. It was not a staged event. It wasn't Hollywood effects. There was one person that got killed and another severely injured, according to the story. All right, that's a fact. But I'm not going to focus on that. I'm going to focus on, hopefully, a biblical aspect of what might have taken place with this assassination attempt. Because there's a whole lot more going on, and if you want to know, you got to stick around, you got to listen. And you're not going to like a lot of what I have to say, at least I'm thinking. But chew on this for a little while and see if some of what I say makes some sense. Because there's a lot more that's going on right now than what's being told. You see. So, let's get right into it. Is there a biblical application of some sort with the assassination attempt of Joe Biden. I'm giving you my theory. That's all I can do. But I'm going to say I'm leaning more towards yes. And I'm going to explain why, if you're going to listen. Now, I'm not a fan of Donald Trump. I'm not a fan of any of them because Donald Trump cannot stop what's already been set in motion. What's set in motion is America is under judgment, and we cannot reverse the course. The April 8th eclipse happened. Amos chapter 8, verse 9 was fulfilled on that day. But he says, what do you see? I see a basket of summer fruit. Amos, the end has come upon my people of Israel. Guess what? Now summer's here right after the eclipse. And this all ties back into the April 8th eclipse. It always does. To kickstart it all off. We're in summer, well guess what? Seeing how the Bible is a has a lot of agricultural symbolism in it, isn't this about the time of the great harvest? Yes. Yes, it is, isn't it? That's something to consider. Thrust in your sickle. Father's going to start these judgments, and I believe what happened with Donald Trump was, from their point of view, they was going to take him out. End of story. But why? And why at this time is becomes the question. That's what I want you to see. What happened as Donald Trump was going to be assassinated? The beginning of what? Bohemian Grove! Oh, God, Moloch, or some say with an E, Molech, worship. I be I'm beginning to think he was their cremation of care, their sacrifice. But he lived. And I know the deep state is pissed off right now. So I'm going to tell you this very clearly, and in reference to Amos, where he says the end has come because of a basket of summer fruit, they're going for broke. And they might try to kill him again. So here comes a question. Did the Father in Heaven have divine intervention involved in saving Donald Trump? That It's possible. It's possible. Here's the reason why I want to bring this up. I've been seeing this going on. Now, this New World Order is taking orders from Satan and his demons behind the scenes, just like they go to the Bohemian Grove in Northern California, and he worship the owl god, Moloch, the child sacrifice god. A lot of your movie stars, your, your singing stars, are secretly going to the Bohemian Grove and idol worship the owl god. Around it, Capitol Hill, Capitoline Hill worship. Go to my video of Janus. If the thumbnail is in black and white, a judge pointing at you like that. Go back to that. The Capitol Hill building, the, the sidewalks and the streets, you can click it online, you'll find probably a million different images of it to show you. 
is shaped just like the owl, the owl god Moloch or Molech. But that word Moloch and Molech is what is important here. Dealing with Donald Trump and dealing with when the king of kings was taken captive to be sacrificed. But let's not get into that just yet. Because that's when you're going to think, Kenneth Vance, Kenneth, you, you've lost it. Maybe I haven't. I'm going to tell you what I think took place with Donald Trump turning and it's just his ear got hit. So don't tell me this guy wasn't a good uh, uh, shooter. Had he not turned his head, he'd be dead. And it was right in line with his head. It, it was aimed right, probably right, dead center. And he turned and just enough. So maybe there was divine intervention, but I think what's happening, because the New World Order is taking orders from Satan, that Satan is trying to cause the last days to happen differently than what, I'll have the Bible here, than what the Bible says. He's trying to alter it to Satan's advantage, and I think maybe the Father possibly stepped in to thwart it. Because I think all along, over these last couple years especially, because Russia, we cross all these red lines with Russia, they should have attacked, yet cooler heads prevail. It's been held back. In Revelation, he says, the grass should not burn on the trees and, uh, and uh, the green, or any green thing till his servants are sealed in their forehead. And that might be Pentecost. We're going to get into that in just a second. Hold on now. So I think what's the, what happened here, maybe the Father in Heaven did thwart their plans. Because the Father is saying, no, Satan, the last day is going to happen the way I prophesied and said, and you're not altering that. So I need to make another video now. I need to go back over Ezekiel 7 a little bit more in parts of Jeremiah chapter 50 and 51 and go deeper that the Father in Heaven has a different idea of the last days. And the New World Order is trying to create their own version. And I think the Father is saying, no, it's going to happen the way I said it's going to happen. And you're not going to alter it and make me a liar. That's what I think is going on. So they tried to shoot him. He just got his ear. Killed a person severely injured another. Last I heard. It's an official shooting. It, it was the deep state trying to take it out. So you turd, you tube, censor me up yours. I'm sick of your crap. I'm sick of the garbage. But here is what I need you to see. Right as Bohemian Grove is starting, take out... Donald Trump. It wasn't about a week ago that sleepy Joe Biden said, you're in the bullseye. you got to put Donald Trump in the bullseye, something to that extent. I think that was literal. I think he was just letting the cat out of the bag a little bit early. They had it planned, people. They knew. And everything about that day, it was a stand down. They wanted him dead. And they didn't get it done. Something happened and they missing it. Just got his right ear. We'll get into that in a second. But that's where you're going to think, Kenneth, you, you, you lost it. No, I have not lost it. Now, I said this is theory. That's as far as it goes, but it is something to chew on. That somebody up there is trying to talk to us. He, he, he isn't talking to us in an audible voice we can hear, so we have to determine what he may or may not be saying by what's happening and do the best we can for now. That's what I see. But I've been saying that either Pentecost was on May 31st or the other version, July 19th of 2024. I really think it is the July 19th. That's what I think. 
which is awfully strange because the devil's comet blew on July 20th and October 5th last year. I see the same things happening during these same dates this year. Let's not get into that. But Donald Trump was attempted to be assassinated on July 13th, six days before what I really think the Pentecost is. I could be wrong. That's so confusing, but that's, that's what seems to make the most sense at a time when the grapes are harvested. Harvested or chosen. Is the Father going to make his final determination on Pentecost this coming Friday, July 19th, of who the 144,000 are? That's possible. It's possible. And it makes sense. A basket of summer fruit. Well, something's got to be in the basket. But what was in the basket back in Israel day? Israel's day. Grapes was one of them. Wasn't it? Part of that summer fruit. But the fact that he was attempted to be assassinated six days before on Saturday, by the way, this particular month is on Saturday. Pagan Saturday. But it was the Sabbath. And the next Saturday is the fourth Sabbath of this fourth month. Just to let you know, I haven't gotten the, uh, the new month up yet. I'll, I'll try to get that done. But what I want to focus on is Moloch for a second. Now, we all know that. I don't know everything, but it's a god from ancient Babylon, of course. It goes back to Nimrod, of course, always. Or as I say, Molech with an E-C-H rather than O-C-H. But that word is a deviation of the Hebrew word M-E-L-E-K. Melech, which means king. I, I looked it up to the, the online on the Strong's Concordance. And that's what it shows. Melech, king, and also come, a, a variation of Moloch, which means king. Well, people, what is Donald Trump? Well, I tell you one thing, and like him or hate him, I'm sorry, by the rule, by the rules of the game, the election was stolen. He really is the president and not sleepy Joe Biden. He really is the president. I don't agree with any leader of man through democracy or whatever. And you need to go back to my video. It's got a thumbnail of a, an elephant kicking a donkey in the rear where it says the, the king is kicked democracy and it's it's ass or something like that. Go back to that as well. Where he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey. I go into all that. I'm not going to do that today. But I already did it. I don't need to do it twice. But <clears throat> that being said, Moloch, Molech, is variations of that word Melech for king. What might that have to do with Donald Trump? And what might, yeah, I'm saying, if this was a father sending us a message, what might the message be? What might that message be? And why was it, they, they say, one more inch, one more inch, and he was dead. He turned his head, you see it on the film, and that's what saved him at least for now. Well, let's go back to when, in my videos, I go over and over this, back to April 8th all over again. April 7th was the Passover, and it was not April 8th, as some say. 7th was Passover. 8th was the day he was in the tomb. Tired of harping on this. I made that real clear. The eighth makes it even more important, not less. It kicked off the signs that here it comes, which is very much a very possible of what this assassination attempt just might have meant to us. 
We see, so I'm going back to this is when Judas Iscariot kissed the king, he was now being taken prisoner. Guess what? From that point, there was no escape for the king. 100% for sure he was going to die. He was going to die. End of story. No way out. He even asked the father, can I escape? And he says, no, nope, my grace is sufficient. But he says, you have to go through it. He was going to die. The declaration was made. He was now a prisoner. He was in the hands or the heart of the earth. His three days and nights began right then and there. I went over this about a hundred times. It should be very simple. But as this was happening, the one who we might think of him as the administrator of Pentecost after the king left. That Pentecost we read of in, book, in the book of Acts, which had uh, the heavenly signs and all that stuff, with the, 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 the eclipse and all that, which is the same thing that happened on April 8th. Think a little bit. Here comes Peter, though. What does he do? He had a sword back then. He went and whoosh, sliced the ear. Sliced the ear. And it says the name of the man, I'll spell it, M-A-L-C-H-U-S, Malchus, however you pronounce that. That name, I looked it up, it goes back to the Hebrew word M-E-L-E-K, Melech, which means king. What is Donald Trump? Well, we don't call him King Trump, but back then the word president didn't exist. But he's still the president or king, as the Bible would symbolize right now. That's the truth by the rules of democracy. So this Malchus had his right ear hit by Peter. Which ear did Donald Trump get shot at, in, or through? Right ear. Malchus. As the king was being taken captive, the ear was sliced. Just before what I think Pentecost is, Donald Trump gets hit in the ear too. Another Malchus, another king, another president. You say, well, that don't mean nothing. It, I, you know, I, I'm going back and forth on this one. But I think it does matter. First it was Passover, now we got Pentecost. So what might that mean? Well, I went over my uh, video, A Singular Disaster. Go back over that. I need to go over Ezekiel 7 some more. And then to compare it to Jeremiah chapters 50 and 51. Parts of that. That a singular disaster is coming. The Father in Heaven's version of the last days versus what the New Order is trying to set up a civil war or cyber attacks and whatever else they got planned. So when he got hit and he was one inch away from being dead, I almost think, and I could be crazy, you might call me Looney Tune, but... Most people are in agreement that it was divine intervention because the chances of that are just slim to none, especially with the speed of a bullet. I think because he was one inch from being assassinated that maybe the Father in Heaven is telling us we're one inch away from all hell breaking loose. One inch away. It's not going to be stopped. But that, that here it comes. That I told you, I gave you the April 8th as the sign and a basket of summer fruit. I told Amos, now I'm telling you, here it comes. United States, you're going to fall. So what else happened? Not just Bohemian Grove on top of everything. Your... Senators, your bankers, your, some of your movie stars, singing stars, or whatever, 
all out there bowing in, in observance to the owl god Moloch or Molech behind the scenes and lying about it to your face. No, I ain't having that conspiracy theory. That's Alex Jones, lunatics type stuff. No, that's going on, and it's going on right now. So don't hand me that. But what else happened? June 2024 happened. Where he says, pride cometh before the fall. Pride month. And they tainted his rainbow, making the, the rainbow flag from out of the rainbow and perverting a heavenly sign he gave to Noah and thus to us as well. But the pride didn't end there. There's one other thing I need you to see with the video of Donald Trump about to be assassinated. Yeah, there were some people going, ah, ah, and there was some screaming going on. But there's one other thing that was going on. And for those who weren't at the rally, it's going on. God bless America! God bless America! God bless America! Pride cometh before the fall. God bless America! What's to bless? What is worthy of blessing? God bless America! Donald Trump! Almost got killed. Someone behind him got killed. Another got severely injured. But God bless America. God bless America. God bless America. What?